is, guys. Wow, he crushed that. Oh, oh, oh! Listen to that. There he is. Oh, there we go. We're on. We are on. Oh, big and two. Yep, yep. Got you that time, you old rascal. Oh, he's still in drag. Oh, well, they are mad today. What is up guys? In today's video, I will be showing you the easiest and most efficient way to catch more fish, whether you're an experienced angler or just a beginner. You guys stay tuned. Let's start off talking about the rig that I'm talking about for you to catch more fish. We're gonna be using one main rig today, but we're gonna be using it in a variety of different ways. And I'm gonna be breaking that down, different ways you can use it, how to use it. As much as I know about it, I'm gonna be giving it to you guys. The rig I am actually talking about is the Wacky Worm Rig. If you're an experienced angler, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, that is one of the most, the easiest ways you can catch a fish. One of the most simplest ways to catch a fish. And um, today we're gonna to talk a little bit about it. So. The, let's talk about hooks first. We'll talk about the type of hooks that I personally like to use. We have a weighted wacky worm hook, and then we have what they call a Nico rig, which I use both of these hooks. You can use a regular worm hook, you can use an EWG hook. I've seen people use just about any kind of hook for this wacky worm, but these right here are my favorite personally. The weighted one I like to use. A little bit more when there's a little bit more wind or when I'm fishing deeper water I want to get it down there faster I'll throw this weighted one they have different size weights and then this one right here when I want it to sink real slow and more shallow water I'll throw on one of these hooks and both of them are barbless hooks I mean not barbless hooks but uh, both of them have a um, a wheelless hook guard on them me personally I do not like the wheelless guard on the metal ones it has a metal weedless guard. I do not like it. I cut it off every time. I've missed so many fish. What I feel is like because of it. So I cut it off. But on these, if you noticed, the barb is not wire. It's like a, almost like a string. So I leave this one on when I fish with it. But another thing is a wacky worm tool. This thing right here, what it has, it has these little rings on them. You put them on your worm. Once you have a worm, you put your, your hook through the worm, and um, it's supposed to save you worms, supposed to give it a different action. I use them sometimes when I remember, but I always forget to bring it, so um, it's it's optional. I've catch fish with it, I've caught fish without it, so it's an optional thing. And last but not least, let's talk about colors. Throwing a wacky worm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. You can throw just about any color you want and catch a fish on a wacky worm. Wacky worm, it's just an efficient way of catching fish. I mean, easy way of catching fish. And we'll get into how I work it and all that, um, that which isn't much to it. But I have some of my favorite colors with me. If I were to recommend a color, it would probably be this color right here. It's cheap. It works. catches fish. It is the watermelon red flake. It's just... It, it's a fish catching machine doesn't matter how you rig it doesn't matter it just this is like three dollars the hooks are maybe five bucks we'll top it out at five so you can literally go buy all of this ten dollar budget and go out there and catch fish which we are about to do so you guys stay tuned all right so we're gonna cry, grab a couple of different senkos we'll go with the uh, watermelon red flake that's too tough. This one, um, I might try. We got some pretty dirty water, so I think I might go with this color a little bit darker. And then, um, I don't know, I just bought this color, never tried it. I'm probably gonna take those. So we'll take three, three different ones and try them out. Actually, let's take, look at this, we'll do this. We'll take one of each, a different brand. There's so many brands out there, all of them work, guys. So here's some Yamamoto's, here's some Yums, and here's some Zoom. We're gonna take all three of these, go out there and catch some fish. Let's talk about setups here. So when throwing a wacky worm, you can use spinning reel or bait caster. I mean, it really doesn't matter. I, I do both, just your preference. If you don't know how to use a bait caster, spinning reel will do just as good. Um, usually when I have a weighted weight on there, I'll use my bait caster. 
because I can throw a little farther with my bait caster. Um, this one, so I have it rigged up. No weight, weight. We're gonna take both of them, put a worm on both of them, try both of them out, catch fish on both of them. So um, let me grab a drink and we are gonna head out there. Start off. I just grabbed one. It was just so happy to be the Yamamoto. Yamamoto. All right. We'll throw this one on. Let's try the spinning reel for a little while. Um, I've got 20 pound braid on here. So it's light braid for a wacky worm. If you don't know how to rig a wacky worm, let me take this off so I can just show you guys. So for a wacky worm, if you're a beginner, all mostly all the worms, or the, all the senkos that I've ever seen, you'll see it has a little, like a little soft spot right in the middle of the belly. Usually I get it about centered, right at the edge of this smooth spot, and I just put my worm straight through it. So your worm's gonna sit just like this, and what it'll do is when you throw it in the water, it just flutters down. Both of these will go take turns kicking. That drives the fish absolutely insane. Make sure you got your drag set right. One way I like to be able to tell if I'm getting a bite or not, so there's two different ways. A lot of times you'll feel that thump. You'll feel the big tick, something along those lines. You'll feel, feel that big tick. You know the fish thumps it. Another way is sometimes when they don't hit it, they pick it up and run with it. You just you just keep an eye on your line, and uh, a lot of the times your line will just you'll see it swimming away, and that means they just have it in their mouth and they're kind of swimming with it. Give them an extra second or two, set the hook. I prefer on my spinning rods. I like I, I actually on my spinning and bait caster rods. I'm uh, I like really soft tips, really sensitive tips for this. Let's give it a shot around the dock since we're up here. Oh, there he is, guys! Wow, he crushed that. No, it's a bass. I don't know if you guys saw my worm fly 20 feet away from me, but that's kind of the whole purpose of uh, the O-rings that I was showing you guys earlier in the intro. That's why people use them, but I'm too hard-headed. Let me, there we go, guys. First one right around the dock. That might be in that shade trying to stay cool. And here's my worm. feel bad you don't feel like a bad one we got a tail slapper yeah he is he got some fight in him get on up here big boy there we go guys there's number two Looks like he has something in his throat. So, so far I'm two for two. I love these hooks. Get really good hook sits with these things. Took my worm, but that's not a bad fish at all. I'll take him all day long. Let's go. Thanks for playing, bud. It was right on that grass line. Let's uh, let's put the spinning reel down for a sec. I'm gonna throw that, that other weighted one that I brought with me with my bait caster. Let's try this color. This is a darker color. There's one. Oh, took my worm. I missed him. Seems like they're pushed up on the edge. Took my worm clean off the hook. 
Yep. Took it clean off the hook, and then he grabbed that hook, and he used it as a toothpick. Oh, he got it. My God. He took my worm again. Same spot. Yep, yep. Got you that time, you old rascal. Oh, he's feeling drag. Oh. Well, they are mad today. They are mad today. <laughs> Beautiful fish, got a nice frame on them. Took off the hook and put it in another spot. There we go. Nice little frame. It was spicy. Might have to tighten my drag up a tad bit. And this is why you should use those rings because. <laughs> we will go through a lot of worms doing this. That's why I recommend not even having really buying the having to buy the expensive um, worms because half the time they're gonna come off and tear anyways. This is uh, one of the reasons I like the one with the weight because like right now I'm fishing with the wind blowing into me, which I'm pretty sure you guys can probably hear it on the GoPro blowing, but with this weighted worm, it actually can go against the wind and it'll sink down. When you don't have a weight and it's really windy, it makes it kind of hard to uh, to fish it. Not impossible, I've seen it happen, but it just adds a level of difficulty to it. The sensitivity of being able to feel and see everything with the wind blowing changes the, the whole thing. Did you get them? Yeah. He's mad because we got him. This, Jason finally hooked the fish that kept taking our worms. We're gonna go. We're gonna go see who this convict is over here. Oh yeah, he's a good one. He ain't very big, but he's long. Guilty as charge. That was him. Look at him. He's trying to look away. He's turning his eyes. Oh. He had a that old rascal day. that guy took all our worms i guess he kind of needed them <laughs> yeah. he got a skinny belly got one bite that was it there he is <laughs> he's way out there too oh he ain't bad He's dancing. He's working this pole. Yeah, I see the line going back and forth. Be my biggest. My biggest of the day for sure. Here we go. We were just talking about how we. Haven't got no bites. We we're trying to get some shade because it got hot. So we came over here under this tree and we're just making cast after cast. Jason said there ain't no fish over here, and then he hit. <laughs> Perfect timing. Another worm down. <laughs> one fish, one worm. You don't wanna, okay. I might need to get one. <laughs> I'm down to three of these. Feels a brand new pack. I'm still on my second one. See that old tool, see if it saves my life. <laughs> see how we'll be able to see the difference on camera. How many more fish it'll catch. I've literally only caught one fish on each worm so far. Every time I've caught one, I've had to change the worm. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I might start carrying that everywhere I go. 
keychain. <laughs> Put it on my keychain. <laughs> Mm. So we took chairs and wagon and fish. You have to pay for it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Listen to that. Would I hook a shark? Some deep sea fish in here? We on them now. Got that worm, I still got the worm. <laughs> Let's go. No, he ain't. Not bad at all. Healthy, good size. Smells fishy. Thank you, bud. Well, it's proven. It works. Mr. Personality. He's been hiding them over here, Jason. Come here, buddy. Like that old meme, I just want a picture. <laughs> you got your pliers with you? You feel like being a lifesaver? You got a lifesaver on duty. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you do. Guess what? I still got my my worm there we go got it thank you sir mm -hmm. show you off to the folks not a bad one thank you for playing peace Oh, there we go. We're on. We are on. Oh, big and two. Oh. That's a good fish. That's a big one, guys. <laughs> Let's go, baby. This is how we are going to end the video once I show you guys this. Look at that one. Oh man, what a fish. Let's freaking go. There we go, guys. And then the, we're going to end it with this guy right here. Beautiful fish. Um, if you guys enjoy these how to videos, please drop a like. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to keep doing these. Um, if so, I will continue to do them. You guys got to let me know, though. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.